Well, what we are going to do is something that we call error reduction or for data scientists who love complicated words, loss reduction, all right? It's the same. We are going to try to reduce the error because don't forget we have this training data. So the computer, when, when the AI is trained, is going to be able to say, I get a reply, I get an answer, and this answer is correct, yes or no. Or this answer is 85% uh, correct, or maybe it's only 15% correct. Okay, so you want the, the 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 accuracy to be as high as possible. You want the the error to be as low as possible. And what we could do, let's imagine that we have a system with two inputs. Okay, and let's imagine that we have the possibility to plot for every value of W1 and W2. We have X1, X2 for every value of W1 and W2 to plot the error. OK, so we are going to have some values for which at the end we get a high error. And those are here, those uh, yellowish hills that we see. And then we are going to have some other values where we get some low errors. And maybe we have one particular value where we have the lowest possible errors, the lowest possible loss. OK, here in that graph, it could be, for example, 142, 388. So now if we have the possibility to try and to measure the error for each value of W1 and W2, then it means that we can do something like that. We can tell the computer, OK, try just one random point, OK? One random value of W1 and W2 and calculate the error, OK? And now we get this point here. And because uh, computers are able to calculate the slope of a function, even in multiple dimensions, OK? Here we have two inputs, means we have three dimensions. If we had 100 inputs, we would have 101 dimension. It's very complicated, but the computer is going to be able to calculate the slope in one given point in one given direction, and then it's going to try until it finds the steepest possible slope. Okay, the steepest possible slope. This is hard to tell. All right, and then it's going to take one step down. So it's, it already took one step to reduce the error. Okay. And the value of these steps, the, the length of these steps, this is what we call the rate of learning. If you have a system that you know well, you can take a big step because you're not expecting, you're not thinking that you will have an unexpected hill in the middle of your of your step. Okay, so you can take a big step. But if you have a system which is complex and that you don't know very well, maybe you take a smaller step and then it's all going to take longer. And the goal is that you repeat this operation many times until hopefully you find the lowest possible error, which is inside this global minimum, inside this deepest hole in the system, okay? But of course, it doesn't always work like that. Sometimes you're going to take a wrong turn and then you're going to end up in what we call a local minimum. So you have sometimes some holes on the way like that. And of course, loss landscapes can be very, very complex. For example, this is an actual loss landscape where you see that you have a lot of local minimums and you have one global minimum, which is quite deep. And so in order to make sure that we don't end up in a local minimum, but that we really find out the, the, the global, the lowest possible value, computers are going to repeat this operation many, many times. And this is a, an iteration, if you want. Data scientists talk about epochs. We are going to do that for multiple epochs until we find the lowest possible value. Uh, and you could imagine that, okay, if I repeat that 100 times or 200 times or 500 times and I have 500 epochs, it's going to be even more, uh, even more precise. Actually, it's not the case and we'll talk about that a little bit more, a little bit later with the concept of overfitting. But basically, this is how those Ws and those Bs are calculated. So you can imagine that it's a very time consuming process. This is why training a computer, training an AI model is taking a long time. Uh, gradient descent, this is what it's called, is very expensive to compute. Data scientists talk about stochastic descent, another really cool world. Um, if you check, actually stochastic just means random. Okay, so if somebody tells you, oh, I'm using stochastic descent, you say, well, you're just random. And that's kind of what it says. Um, so this is how basically those uh, models are trained, okay?